Hey there, Racer Rob with Integrity Auto Care. And uh, first of all, I want to make this video fun, informative, and show you how to diagnose and repair today's crazy complex vehicles. So with that said, there's a picture of me. I'm Racer Rob. Uh, I am Dr. Rob the Car Doctor, a.k.a. Racer Rob. I love to race. Uh, this is my brother Ryan. And uh, I'm much better looking, faster, and wiser than him. So uh, if you believe that, um, that's great. So... All right, so let's dive right in here. So the reason I, I make these videos and I'm so passionate about diagnostics, oops, is that uh, I had a brain aneurysm that a couple doctors missed. And thank goodness I had a uh, good x-ray technician find it. So I had uh, brain surgery. I feel that saved my life. Then the same year, Christy, my wonderful teacher, she's a school teacher on the same mission as you know making life better for uh, the school system and me in automotive. She had a 50-foot oak tree squasher car the same year. We called her hell year. That was a wake-up call for us to start Integrity Auto Care and, and really be that shop that says, uh, hey, cars are crazy complex. No, the machines don't give you all the answers. And we all got to work together to fix them. You know, that that's kind of where we're at. So in this video, I kind of want to show you the case study we have on a cr crazy complex 2017 Dodge Ram that's uh, run out of gas after he had some modifications done in a shop in Montana. He's driving out here to Oregon and that's when the problems develop. So with that said, the very first thing you have to do with uh, vehicles is, is test drive it, kind of see what's going on, uh, verify the complaint. And I absolutely did. It's not refueling like it's supposed to. And then check for codes and fuses, you know, I, I was born in Cherry Grove, Oregon. It's a very small town. And if you don't have a truck or a, well, a truck and a dent in it, they're going to kick you out. So I have the common sense there. I also have what's, what's really deadly and kind of mentor my younger technicians is I have an automotive degree and I have an electronics degree, not to brag, but, uh, way back in, uh, ooh, stand out of the way, thumb or finger, whatever it is. Way back in uh, 1993, I went to electronic service technology at PCC. So I got that in my back pocket too. But even so, that brings me to the next stage. Theory and operation. Huge shout out to Kevin Identifix who helped me find a wiring diagram that was not available for this tricky problem. So thank you very much, Kevin. And don't be afraid to ask for help. So... Theory and operation, boy, oh boy, There's, this is a super complex system. There's probably 20 pages of just information on how it works, uh, things like that. I'm not going to go into too great detail here because, um, qu quite honestly, the best way to approach this is get all the information together, take pictures, and then uh, keep it simple. Uh, like what I've done here, I've made a block diagram for you guys. So more on that later. So uh, big shout out to, uh, now here's another tidbit on how to, uh, one problem we have in this industry is levels of diagnostics and charging for diagnostics. So you absolutely have to, absolutely have to. And one tool that we use for that is uh, Bolt-On Technology. The guys and gals at Bolton Technology are doing amazing things. We, What we do, Brad's my awesome service manager, and this is how we've got to become the car doctors, is we take photos of all this, what I've done, my notes, things like that. I even made a, a simple block diagram. More of this stuff to come for you shop owners and uh, techs that don't want to do this. I mean, this is my goal to help do this kind of stuff for you guys. So, But I made a simple block diagram of how the system works versus the complicated wiring diagram. So big shout out to uh, Bolt-On Technology. Keep up the great work, guys and gals. So theory and operation, I pretty much got that down. And then after that, you have to go into level three diagnostics, like we just talked about. You got to charge for that stuff. And don't be too proud to ask for help. So here, you guys ready for the uh, basic description of how this system works? So here it is. What's supposed to happen is the engine's supposed to run off of tank number one only. Tank number two is just, we'll call it a refill reservoir. And how it operates is the body control module 
through the dash computer, when tank number one gets down to a quarter tank or less, the body control module says, hey, we're low on gas. Sends a signal out to the relay box, which is a very expensive fuse box, and activates tank number two. Tank number two then fills up tank number one until it's about three quarters or so, and then um, that's it. That process will repeat. Body control module says we're running low, fill up tank number one until this tank reaches low value. So that's how it's supposed to work. Here's what's going on. So the customer had a EFI Live conversion done, so it had a tune to it. So that may be an issue. If it's an issue, I've already contacted the other cool company and we're working that out. We'll probably end up retuning it. Uh, big shout out to Travis at uh, Diesel Addiction Pros because he's going to help us work with EFI Live as well. So here's the nitty gritty of what's going on. So basically, the body control module is supposed to send a signal out to latch this relay, which then this relay needs to be latched by the powertrain control module as well. So both of those need to work together to latch the relays at the power distribution center and then activate tank number two when tank number one gets down to a quarter or low. That's not happening. The body control module for some reason is not saying, hey, we're getting low. And number two, the second problem is this powertrain control module is sending a signal like here like it's supposed to, but it's really bizarre. That signal comes down through uh, battery voltage, down through here, and through there, and the PCM is supposed to ground this wire. Digital is basically on 12 volts, off low volts. So the powertrain control module is supposed to ground out and turn on this relay. Well, it does turn on the driver inside the computer, but it's pulling it down to 2.09 volts. That's not a good ground, so this relay is not activating. Now, where I'm in the process, keep an eye out for uh, video number two of this. I'm going to find out if it's an EFI Live issue software program that's doing this. And if so, the simple thing is to reprogram it and fix that. Or if there's an actual problem with the powertrain control module. So that's where we're at. And this is why, I mean, this took me days to come up with this information. And that's why I made this video in case other techs or shops run into this problem and how to, to do it. So um, to wrap this up, we're, I try to keep these under 10 minutes or so. So number one, uh, test drive, verify, test the basics and know the, the computers don't tell us exactly what to do. Theory in operation, thank you Kevin Identifix again. Level three diagnostics, bolt-on technology is huge here because those shops that are gonna survive are gonna have to charge diagnostics and, and the customers will pay for it. You just gotta educate them properly. Don't be afraid to ask for help. Travis, dude, you're awesome. I love you. We're going to get this thing figured out for this guy. He's one smart dude. Uh, Josh at Diesel Pros, he's going to check with EFI Live. Make sure the tune's right. We're going to get it handled. And uh, th that's the thing. you got to work together. So we're, gonna, we're all working together here. So uh, stay tuned for more from Dr. Rob the Car Doctor at IEC for round number two to find out why the body control module is not speaking up and why the power trade control module is but it's not sending out the wrong the right signal so that's it i hope you enjoyed this um, i'm real passionate about helping out shop owners and techs and and uh, automotive in general because we gotta we all gotta work together to fix these crazy complex cars so once again dr rob the car doctor aka racer rob integrity auto care in hillsborough oregon over and out stay tuned for video number two Take care.